A story about love starts with Tom Williams, an artist who works in his studio on Broadwater Road. Most days he just paints. Well, until the Saturday that I met him. Saturday the 10th of December. So what happened after the argument then? Yeah. Punched him in the throat. In the throat? Yeah. It's much more effective than the face. Idiot shouldn't have stolen my seat. <laughs> Do you want another drink? It's my round, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, I'll have the same again, thanks. Beer, cider, vodka. What to choose? Pardon? Hmm? So did you say something? Tom. Oh, sorry. Um, I was just thinking about what to drink. Any suggestions? Well, I always have my usual. Vodka and Coke. Sweet, simple. Plus it's not too expensive. <laughs> Good response. I might try that tonight, then. I'm Tom, by the way. Oh, pleased to meet you. I'm Amy. Amy? Do you live round here, then? Yeah, just round the corner, really. I haven't seen you here before. It's probably because you haven't been looking. <laughs> Wait, Tom. Another good response. Tom! Tom! What? What? It's strange to think someone can have a huge impression on you after meeting them just once.
So whose party is this anyway? Hmm. So I know the answer to this. Wait a second. We're going to a party and you don't even know whose it is. I'm thinking Lisa, for some reason. Lisa is your sister, Neil. I knew I'd heard that name before. Oh, great. Tonight's going to be great. Sophie. It's Sophie's party. <laughs> well, at least you remember the name. Or is it Phoebe? Oh, my God! No, no. It's definitely Phoebe. I remember inviting us. Becky! Thanks for inviting us. Did you just throw this at me? You left me. I came back to the bar and you were gone. You came back to the bar? Yeah, of course I did. I was just helping a friend get back on her feet. She's a terrible drunk. I thought you were gone. What? No, that's stupid. I even left my drink on the bar for you to watch. My bad. Yeah, you're bad. Wait a minute, you just threw this at my head. That hurt. Dude, it's plastic. Yeah, I know. Drink? I bet that's a lie right there. All artists say they're not very good. I'll let you be the judge of that. So what do you do? I'm in between jobs at the moment. I think I'm just too lazy to find anything really. I do some gigs from time to time, that brings in some cash. Cool. <laughs> yeah, I can't complain. It's pretty awesome. Look, I was wondering, um, I didn't get a chance to ask you this last time, but would you be interested? Thank you. Thank you. Next up, uh, Amy Green. I'm up. What? Cupid and my love, they play. Cards for kisses, Cupid pays. Takes his bow, his arrow, his luck He lays them down in a way she took Oh love, have you done this for me? Alas, what shall become of they? Oh love, have you done this for me? Alas, what shall become of thee?
So what was that, Tom? I tried to kiss you. you I'm not going to stand there and take it, am I? He tried to kiss me and you hit him. Yeah, I did hit him. Yeah. Because he was flirting with you all night. So what? Did you see his face? He was up there looking at you like some sort of object. So you're going to hit anyone who looks and talks at me now? Yeah, I am. Thank you, thank you. That's really helpful. Why are you so jealous? Why are you protecting him? I'm not worried. Yes, you are. You're now telling me that I shouldn't protect you. Because this guy tried to flirt with you. That's exactly what you're saying. You know what? I'm a grown woman. I can look after myself. But right now, it's really like dating a child. Right. So you're going to go? Yeah. Just going to go? Yeah. You grow up. So what happened after that? I stormed out. You're really gonna let something this stupid ruin what you've got with Amy? He tried to kiss her, man. And she just stood there. How am I supposed to continue when I know that she could be out anywhere just letting these idiots touch her? You're the idiot here, mate. I bet it's not even as bad as you're making it out to be. What? What you've often overreacted to stupid little things like this. Come on, dudes. Let it go. Look, man. I've known you for ages. And I've met enough girls to know that one like Amy doesn't come around every so often. So get over there now and apologise. Hey. Hey, look, I'm really sorry. I just... I just overreacted. I'm really sorry. Me too. Coming up to Valentine's Day, and Tom and I were getting on really well. My relationships in the past have never resorted to anything. Usually they have just been one night stands. Oh God, that makes me sound like I've been with too many people. I haven't. For some reason, Tom was acting weird that day, but then it all came together when he stopped me in the middle of a beautiful field. Tom looked at me, holding my hands, and he said, I love you. I obviously replied, I love you too. The rest of the day was perfect, and I will never forget it.
On the 14th of February, 2013, at 11.32 a.m., Tom Williams, the man I loved, died. It has been a while since that day, and in between, things have changed. I still think of Tom. He is always with me in memory. But for those who can't remember the man of my dreams, I have written this book for you. I hope that you read it and realise how much you can love someone. And if you've got anyone in mind at this current moment, Go out and tell them. They deserve to know. Alas, what shall become of 